Hello, my name is Dominic and I'm an organizer with Living Cully. If you rent your home in Cully, or if you have a child that goes to a Cully school, and you have lost 50% or more of your income due to COVID-19, you might be eligible for Living Cully's Renter Relief Fund. Selected households will receive between $550 and $700, depending on circumstances. To apply for the fund, visit livingcully.org apply or call 971-303-8558 and leave a message with your name and phone number. The application deadline is Wednesday, June 3rd. Thanks to over 125 generous donors, we have raised over $60,000 to share with our neighbors who are struggling. To donate, please visit livingcully.org slash renter dash relief dash fund. Thank you. We hope you are all well, and we hope to talk with you soon. Hola, mi nombre es Dominique y soy organizador de Living Cully. Si alquila su casa en Cully o tiene un hijo en la escuela en el vecindario de Cully y ha perdido 50% o más de sus ingresos debido a COVID-19, puede ser elegible para el Fondo de Asistencia a Inquilinos de Cully. Los hogares seleccionados recibirán entre 550 dólares y 700 dólares, según sus circunstancias. Para solicitar el fondo, visite livingcully.org diagonal apply o llame al 971-303-8558 y deje un mensaje con su nombre y su número de teléfono. La fecha límite de solicitud es el miércoles 3 de junio. Gracias a más de 125 donantes generosos, hemos recaudado más de 60 mil dólares hasta ahora para compartir con nuestros vecinos que están luchando contra los efectos financieros del virus. Para donar, visite livingcully.org. Gracias. Esperamos que esté bien y esperamos hablar con ustedes muy pronto. So, Teddy, ¿por qué piensas que es un privilegio ser bilingüe? Because if someone needs your help uh, and they only speak Spanish, you can help them. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más? Um, you can go, you can travel the world where more people speak Spanish. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué más? Um, and it helps your brain um, learn things. Okay, y tú mayormente hablas inglés, entonces si una persona mayormente habla español, ¿por qué es un privilegio para ellos hablar el inglés también que el español? Um, no solamente para apoyar a los hispanohablantes. So, so they can like get, like, get jobs. Get jobs. It helps them get jobs mm -hmm. in y other tam places. Too. También pueden apoyar a los ingles hablantes, ¿verdad? Que yeah. nos podemos ayudar a uno al, al otro. Yeah. ¿Ya? Yeah? Sí. ¿Algo más que quieres decir? Um, no. How about, hi, Panteras. Hi, Panteras. We miss seeing you at school. Lizards, Frogs, and Pollywogs, Poems and Paintings by Douglas Florian The skink, along the ground I'm found, I slink, through grass I pass, I am a skink, bite my tail and it releases, don't fight back, I fall to pieces. The tortoise, I wear a helmet on my back, it's hard and guards me from attack, and if I squeeze or sneeze or cough, the shell I dwell in won't fall off. It's glued without a screw or mortise. I'm born with it, for I'm a tortoise. The gecko. The gecko's trick is climbing walls. Like glue, it sticks and rarely falls. Across the ceiling, it may roam. But don't you try this in your home. The crocodile and alligator. The crocodile's smile is wide enough to stuff a pig inside. But did you know that alligators sometimes swallow second graders? The Iguana 
I wouldn't want to be an iguana. Iguanas are covered with scales. I wouldn't want to be an iguana. Iguanas can have spiny tails. I wouldn't want to be an iguana. Iguanas are sometimes green. I wouldn't want to be an iguana, except for Halloween. The Cobra. It's wise to stay clear of the dangerous Cobra all months of the year, including October. The Komodo Dragon. I am a Komoda. I'm gruesome and gray, the most massive lizard that's living today. Birds and boars for me are a meal, plus all those who don't think that dragons are real. The Gila Monster. They call me monster just because I have short legs and clumsy claws and poison in my jaws and look like someone's composition book. The Box Turtle. This bony dome's my mobile home, a shell so swell in which to roam. And when I'm scared by bear or fox, inside I hide, safe in my box. I close it shut and go to bed, secure from beast that box my head. The Python. With 30 feet to squeeze your prey, Python, you take my breath away. The Chameleon. Chameleon, comedian. We never know which skin you're in. Sometimes you're yellow, then you're green, turquoise, blue, or tangerine. Chameleon, you're hard to find. Comedian, make up your mind. The Diamondback Rattlesnake. Fork in front, rattle behind, the lump in the middle, don't pay any mind. Scales up high, scales down low, the lump in the middle, you don't want to know. Diamonds above, diamonds below, the lump in the middle, a rabbit too slow. The polywogs. We polywoggle, we polywoggle, we shake in lakes, make wakes and wriggle and quiver and shiver and we jiggle, we jog. We're yearning to turn ourselves into a frog. The midwife toad. On dad's back, the eggs are toted. To his kids, he's totally devoted. The glass frog. Upon a tree, it's hard to see which part is leaf, which is me, which part is me and which is a leaf. I've lost myself again, good grief. The newt, orange nose, orange toes, orange chin, orange skin, orange tail, orange newt. Aren't you cute in your bright orange suit? The wood frog, I am a frozen fogsicle. I froze beneath a logsicle. My mind is in a fogsicle inside this icy bogsicle. My temperature is 10 degrees. I froze my nose, my toes, my knees. But I don't care, I feel at ease, for I am full of antifreeze. The red-eyed tree frog. Tomato eyes catches flies. Orange toes loves to pose. Matchstick legs hatches from eggs. Swallows bugs, lives on t-shirts and coffee mugs. The bullfrog. Polly Wagger, Bobby Bogger, Billy Bellow, Mellow Fellow. Hida, Hopper, Freddy, Flopper, Jimmy, Swimmy, Timmy, Shimmy, Sammy, Summer, Jug O Rummer, Jug O Rummer. The Poison Dart Frogs. Brown with oval orange spots, crimson mottled, black with dot blots, neon green with blue black bands, tangerine with lemon strands, banana yellow, ultramarine, almost any color seen. And though their poison can't tip a dart, these frogs are masters of fine art. The spring peepers. Peep, peep. We steal your sleep. In scores of choruses, we cheep. Beneath our chins, a thin balloon to help our song from March till June. Each spring we sing to bring a mate and make you stay awake too late. I hope you've enjoyed these poems. And I hope it's inspired you to maybe write your own. So kind of a challenge for you. I want you to draw a picture of your favorite animal or insect or lizard or spider or whatever and write a poem about it and share it with, with us here. So hope to hear from you. 
Hope you enjoyed the story and I'll hope to see you very soon. Bye. ¿Por qué les gusta ser bilingües y biculturales? Enjoy. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Cash and today I'm going to be sharing with you the Feel Good book by Todd Parr. Giving a great big hug feels good. Eating carrots with a bunny feels good. Getting tickled feels good. Taking a bubble bath feels good. Showing the new kid around feels good. Rubbing noses feels good. Visiting a sick friend feels good. Crying when you're sad feels good. Laughing out loud feels good. Brushing your hair with a lion feels good. Catching snowflakes on your tongue feels good. Reading a book under a tree feels good. Watching your grandma and grandpa dance feels good. Having a ladybug land on your hand feels good. Sharing your treats feels good. Waiting for the tooth fairy feels good. Saying I love you in sign language feels good. Playing under the sprinkler feels good. Making a new friend feels good. Making sounds like a monkey feels good. Ee, ee, ah, ah, oh, 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 oh. Seeing fireflies outside your window feels good. I like that all the fireflies have little smiley faces. Letting a kitten lick your fingers feels good. Brushing your teeth with strawberry toothpaste feels good. Learning how to count to eight with a spider feels good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. It's a very happy spider. Giving somebody something feels good. Whispering in someone's ear feels good. Being brave feels good.
Taking a nap with a giant stuffed animal feels good. Being together feels good. It feels good to think about all the things that make you feel good. Rubbing my dog's tummy makes me feel good and him too. What things make you feel good? And then it says, love Todd. That's the author. And I want to send you my love too and encourage you to think about and notice what helps you feel good and to do more of those things as long as they're safe. And for me, the ones that help me feel good and help others feel good are the best.